when you're helping more than 3,000 kids and 1,000 seniors, it is really no small task. And there are really two people at the head of this thing. They are the captains, our local captains of the Salvation Army chapter. Here. That's right. The husband and wife team work really year round to make this happen. And Captain Jesse Chapman sat down with uh, New Six's Adrian Ivashinsky to explain why this event in particular really tugs at her heart. And so I'm going to show you where the senior gifts are. These For are Captain Jesse Chapman, this is not a job. It's a calling. This is definitely a calling. Merry Christmas to you, Thank and God bless you. Thank you. And coming from a big family, she knows just how special getting a Christmas gift can be. I'm a child of seven, and um, I don't have expectations, because as a child that um, my parents can afford very much, but we had joy in our heart, we had love, and as I got older, I realized that was more valuable than gifts. Now she's helping spread that love and joy here at the Joy Center. And seeing the smiles and the hugs reminds her of the difference this will make in the life of a family in need. She knows because she was once that child who didn't receive much at Christmas. We got new clothes twice a year um, at Christmas and at Easter. And so I want someone else to have the joy receiving something and um, and my motivation is for the love of God. And that love of God is what keeps Captain Chapman motivated to handle every little problem. Hey, gentlemen. Every little issue that pops up as she helps guide the families and volunteers here during distribution day and beyond. She says she remembers when a neighbor brought gifts to them one Christmas and what it meant to her. Um, to know that I can give that to a child, you know, is, I, I know what it did for my heart. And um, that I hope that that's what, you know, we have that, we see that in the children that we helped this year. Oh, you, uh, Santa was really good. Oh Adriana Ivashinsky. Oh, look at this. Getting results, News 6.